Hey guys, today I'm going to be making a simple menoodle recipe. I'm just going to be doing any salt, um, a small can of like the mice, the corn, and um, this is like a beef tripe. You can buy it and cut it up yourself, or the store that I went to, they already have it all cut up, which I love about them. And for only $10 for three pounds, I'm like, that's a pretty good deal. Some people put hominy in there. I don't know how many. Um, honeycomb. And some people put, like, uh, feet, pig's feet in there. So it's all what you want. I just like it simple. My husband just likes it like this. So you're also going to need a bag of wahil. It's just a smaller bag. This is um, three ounces. Some tortillas you can use or have it with or without tortillas. Uh, I use this at the end to make it a little more spicy. Or sometimes the chili arbor. Rip it open at the end and put it in there. Onion and cilantro on top. If you really want some avocado on the side. But I don't really put it on there. And that's about it for the menudo. This is something that if you have all day to cook <laughs> or patience or at least put in a slow cooker so you don't have to be home all day the first thing you're going to want to do is really make sure you wash it really good wash it if you don't want too many fatties fat parts in there you're going to want to take it out because otherwise it turns it really greasy but if you like it like that then keep it but make sure you're like at least run it through every little piece run it for at least five ten minutes run in the water and rinse in it or even let it soak in a the pot of water just let it soak a while so that it really cleans out because sometimes you'll even catch the little hairs on there which and if you don't like it this big you can still cut it smaller if you want like this one's a little bit bigger i'll probably cut that one we'll just really rinse it so i'm going to just keep on rinsing it okay so now i really rinsed it out and i took out some of these like i don't i'm not too fond like when it's too fatty like that I got lucky this time. I got a lot of just regular pieces. I like to just let it soak for a couple of minutes, like maybe five, ten minutes. And then I'll dump this water out. You see some of these pieces are just floating to the top. I'll let it soak and just rinse it out again one more time because this is, you need to make sure this is really cleaned out. So this is one of those things where you either love it or you hate it. I hated it. And then when I got pregnant with my second son, my husband was eating it at a restaurant. I said, oh, let me try it. And I fell in love. This is the medicine of hangovers. If y'all wake up with a hangover in the morning, get you some menudo and y'all be cured. So, okay, so now I rinsed it out about two or three more times. You're still going to have those thingies on top, but it's it's fine. It'll cook. And once it cooks, it's going to go away. So now you're going to add salt. I kind of just eyeball it. I don't really know how much I do. I just, because after a while, the water will disappear. And you're going to keep adding water. So then you're going to put it on low to medium, medium heat. If you have bay leaves, add like two or three bay leaves to this as well. I'm going to add some cilantro right now. Just make sure you wash it. I washed it. I just put a few strands in there and just throw that in as well. And like I said, if you have bay leaves, right now I don't have it. But it does, I mean, it doesn't make a big difference. It's just a little extra flavor. So this will make about for five servings. I have a family of five. It feeds everybody. And for lunch the next day. So this will be enough for tonight for dinner. And my husband's lunch for in the morning. And the kid's lunch. I have a four year old. So she's technically maybe a family of four. But my older son will make up for that. So just let it cook. I want to say maybe six hours. Let it cook on medium heat. You can probably make put it in a slow cooker as well. And cut, leave it covered. I mean, I'm going to put out the cover on. So, yeah, just keep an eye on it so the water doesn't overflow to the top. About, yeah, about maybe a little less than that. And just let it cook for like six hours. Right now it's, what, 9 o'clock. So it's 9 o'clock. You might want to check in. Just keep on, keep an eye on it every once in a while. Make sure there's still water in there. If the water starts to get low, you're gonna just keep adding water and adding water. And after your meat starts getting a little more tender and you can chew it and it's not so chewy chewy, you can start adding your corn and then you can start adding your, or start boiling the water for your wajillos and you can add the wajillo. 
Okay, so make sure that you do keep it down because it did just boil over, so keep it on low. Mine just boiled over really bad. So instead of keeping the cover all the way on, it's gonna keep on covering. Let it stay loose a little bit so you still have the cover, but on the other side, it's still a little loose. I always like to do it that way so it doesn't keep coming over and messing up your stove area. Okay guys, it's been an hour and it's been cooking. I put it on really low, so I put the cover all the way back on and it's just letting it boil. It still doesn't need no water right now. It's looking fine. And you can see like the water is like more like a brothy. That's how it's supposed to look. So you just let it sit. So everything is looking pretty good. Okay, so it's been on boiling. It is one o'clock. So we are going to be adding some more water. I'm just gonna put a whole cup full of water in there. And let that boil again. You see where the water was around the edge. You can put more if you want to. If you don't want to keep adding and adding and adding. But just put the cover back on and let it keep on boiling. Okay, so it's been cooking for a while. I did try it. It does taste pretty good. It is five, but I had to go to the store if I have to be honest. I turned it off for a while while I was at the store. So about an hour, I was just had this off and I put it back on. So it's just been cooking away. I have my can here that I just opened. You're gonna wanna drain that. You're just gonna empty the can out. And we rinse it. Make sure your hands are washed before you start touching it. So I just touch it because it is my family's food before you guys get all crazy. It's, it's my family. If I was making it for other people, I would not be doing all this. But it's just, I'm trying to uncrumble it. And so I'm eating it with my family. So make sure it's kind of washed and shake it out. You're just going to want to add it. You're going to add it before you do the wahios. So now we got the wahios here, and we're gonna cut and devein and take all the seeds out. I got the water over here boiling. Some people um, toast it before they boil it. I just like to boil it and then about maybe 30 minutes until it get nice and soft, and then you're gonna blend it, and then you're gonna put it into the water. Okay, you're gonna want. I use these just because it's easier for me. You can just take it apart with your fingers. I only use these scissors for cooking, so it's easier. So you're just gonna wanna cut down the side. And all of this inside here, you're gonna wanna just take it out and you just throw it in the garbage. So it's nice and clean like this. They should all look like this. And then you can add it to the boiling water. Okay, so once you got them all peeled, you're gonna put them in the boiling water, squish them all the way in. And I had some of them were still had seeds, which is not a big deal. Once they go in water, they're going to come off. And anyways, you're going to strain them into the liquid, into the soup. Anyways, just keep an eye. It should, maybe I should have had a bigger one because it already boiled over. So just keep an eye on it. Put it on medium to low heat. Let it boil for maybe 30 minutes or until it's soft enough for you to just blend. You can put a um, cover on top or you can just leave it like that. I leave it like that. Some people put a smaller cover on top to squish them so they stay in it's just all what you prefer and make sure you wash your hands and don't touch your eyes because i've done that mistake many times where i've still i've washed my hands and i still touch my eyes and it burned so be careful with that so i put it in the blender with a little bit of water on the bottom and a little bit of garlic salt, just a little, or garlic powder, just a little bit, sorry. Somehow that video got deleted. So here I am straining it. Make sure you strain it all the way through because you're going to have big parts so it's all liquid. And this is your finished menudo. You can add lime, cilantro, onion, the chili peppers, anything you want. Eat it with a tortilla or without a tortilla and enjoy. Until next time, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button.